So some of you have been wondering how you'd use HitFilm alongside your video editor, such as something like Sony Vegas. Let's give you a quick tour. Here we've got Sony Vegas with a standard edit, and as you can see, some of the shots require some visual effects. So here we need a muzzle flash for the end of this gun barrel. What we want to do is quickly double click it to choose that particular shot, because we don't want to export the entire video, we just want that clip. We can render it out, choose our settings for good quality, we'll just go for a simple uncompressed video here. Make sure the render loop region is on. If you use a different video editor, it will have a similar kind of setup, but this is how you do it in Vegas. So we'll render out that shot, and then we'll quickly jump over into Hit Film. Now what we need to do is import, find the same shot we just exported and bring that in. There we go. Now, to start working on this as a visual effects shot, we right click and choose Make Composite Shot. As you can see, all the settings have been automatically detected from the video file itself. We'll just put a new name in up here, Gunfire Shot, and hit OK, and there we go. We're all set up and ready to go. We can now add our effects, do whatever we want, and when we're done, all you do is click Export, create a new video file, and put that back on your Vegas timeline. That's all there is to it. If you're using something like Windows Movie Maker, or maybe the free editing software that came with your camera, then you probably want to upgrade to using HitFilm's own editor, which makes things even easier. So here we've got a similar kind of edit to what we had in Vegas. Here's the shot that requires some visual effects. All we have to do is select it, hit the Make Composite button, there's a couple of simple options here which we won't go into right now, and there you go. We're ready to go with our visual effects. You can do whatever you need. There you go, you can see that the muzzle flash is now applied. Where this becomes particularly clever is that if we now switch back to the editor timeline, you can see that we've got the visual effects shot in place. This is actually the composite shot, so at any time we can simply flick back here to make alterations. There's no importing and exporting or exchanging of files. It's all done inside of HitFilm. So, those are the two main workflows you'll have, either working with an external video editor or working inside HitFilm. Which one you go for is entirely up to you.